Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's June 20th, 2022. We are in the New Testament book of Matthew, and we're going to read in chapter 4, verse 1 through 12. Uh, let's see, we said that Matthew uh, was, was Levi. He was the tax collector that, that became one of Jesus' disciples. Uh, he wrote this gospel, as far as we know, and his purpose is to kind of point out that Jesus fulfills all the requirements of the Messiah for the Jewish people, which is who he's writing to. And we saw that he first started off with a genealogy that showed that Jesus was in, was in the royal line of David. Uh, he worked through the birth of Jesus, how, how, how the, that fulfilled the prophecies about the virgin birth. Uh, the wise men came because they saw a star, so he, he he's pointing out that even the the creation itself affirmed him as the Messiah. King Herod was an evil king, a usurper of the kingship of, of Israel. Even he recognizes him as the Messiah because he wants to kill him as soon as he finds out he's born. Uh, they run to Egypt. They fulfill some more prophecies. Then he jumps ahead to John the Baptist and how John the Baptist fulfilled the prophecies of the herald that would come to herald the coming Messiah. Uh, as he baptizes Jesus, we, we see that Trinity in action where you have Jesus coming out of the water, the Son of God. You have the Father in heaven, God the Father, announcing that this is my Son in whom I'm well pleased. Well, you see God is the Holy Ghost connecting them in between. Now we're going to move right after that. Jesus goes out into the desert and he's tempted by Satan. So Satan's going to affirm that he's Messiah because otherwise why would he be trying to, to take him down? And we also see how, how Jesus uses the scriptures and the word of God to counter the devil. You also see how the devil can use and twist the word of God himself. So you got to know the truth behind what you're saying. So let's go ahead and read Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After spending 40 days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Then the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, order these stones to turn into bread. Jesus answered, The scripture says man cannot live on bread alone, but needs every word that God speaks. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the highest point of the temple, and said to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will give orders to his angels about you. They will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. Jesus answered, But the scripture also says, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their greatness. All this I will give you, the devil said, if you kneel down and worship me. Then Jesus answered, Go away, Satan. The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left Jesus, and angels came and helped him. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.